What's up YouTubers? We're doing a, a video comparison of a couple of looper pedals today. Um, I purchased uh, both of these um, uh, for the same price over the internet and um, and I was really surprised about the differences. Um, so some things I just wasn't thinking about and I thought I'd uh, share this uh, video review of the differences uh, to help you out. Um, both of these are, are very well documented on the on the internet, on their company's websites. Um, uh, so I, I won't get into how to use the pedals, um, just some of the differences between the two and what influenced my, de my buying decision. Alright, uh, on the left hand side we have uh, Digitex JM2 and on the left hand side we have Line 6's JM4. Alright, the Digitech uh, has um, a digital readout there, 1 through 99. And the JM4 has an LCD screen. That's going to be a huge difference between the two. Um, for example, uh, what um, if you saved a loop? Let's say you saved it on number, sorry, number two. All right, and so you would then have to remember that number two is that uh, blues uh, blues rhythm in the key of A. Uh, that's kind of a shuffle, and that's different from the uh, the rock uh, rhythm on number four, um, and that's also different from the backing track on number six. So that be just you just have to remember those things as well as um, if you have uh, to store or delete a loop. Um, you would basically just have to remember how the how the buttons work and uh, and the sequence of, of what to, what to press. Uh, for example, uh, to delete a loop here, uh, so I'd have to press Shift and then uh, delete and then delete for two seconds and then then it deletes. So that's an example of those things I have to remember there. And, and you saw the the display going along with me. Um, it's um, it's not that specific. <clears throat> on the uh, J on the JM4, however, uh, you get a wonderful uh, LCD readout that lists very specific things going on. Uh, for example, I'll press the save button here, and all right, so it lists my options here, and I just scroll through uh, with the with the wheel. And you can see all the different things that that I can do, um, you know, just just in that function. And it's clearly listed exactly what's going on in case I I want to do any any commands. So I like that a lot. And then in terms of um, uh, saving your loops, all right. So the recordings uh, section there at the top, that's uh, that's ones that I have. Um, uh, that's user uh, recordings. And I've got several listed here. What um, uh, what what I started saving them as is um, so my first one was you know number number zero I guess that's the first one. And it's 11.2 seconds and I saved it as rock number one. Okay, fine. Uh, and then there was rock number two. And then I got a little more creative with it. Okay, so rock number three. Oh look, I've got more room. And so I went ahead and put the uh, chord progression uh, there at the end, G D A, and then it transitions to B C D. Uh, all right, great. And so then here's a blues uh, blues rhythm. That's a blues number one, and I put my my chord progression uh, there out to the right. Um, and then um, recently I was working on Freddie King's Going Down. Uh, so I've got that on there with the specific name going down um, and again I put the chord, pro chord progression. So that's a that's a really cool uh, thing for me as a uh, in my practice um, work to be able to quickly identify uh, which which recordings that I'm working with and then uh, it, le it lets me specifically save uh, my ideas as um, uh, well, you saw it just just like I listed them. 
the JM4 um, has has over a hundred uh, preset um, uh, drum loops and and uh, and songs to jam over. Uh, they're excellent. Uh, the JM2 uh, has ten uh, there that pre-programmed on it. And again, you can you can upload backing tracks to either one, but uh, the JM4 for the same price are, includes over a hundred. And so here's here's just several. Anyway, and then it's got uh, it's got songs on there. Uh, with the songs, uh, neat thing. Uh, not only so I've got a rock jam. I'll go ahead and play it. And well, I'll play it in a second. But uh, when it's doing the rock jam, uh, right there on the side, it tells me that it's in the key of D minor. And so, as a beginning musician, um, I don't have to struggle with okay, what key is this in, and what chords sh chords are they going to? Um, I've got it. You know, it already tells me that it's in D minor. So here's the rock jam loop. So anyway, there's there's over a hundred. I'm not sure how many, but there's um, over. I know that for sure that there's over a hundred in there for you to jam along to. Um, that's a big difference. Um, other differences between the two, the uh, JM4 has a, a built-in uh, guitar tuner, um, and so if I turn up my volume on my guitar here. Um, So I'm a little bit flat, but I'm very, but I'm very close. There we go, and then I, there, there it is. It's in tune now. Cool. Um, other things uh, about the JM4 that's different. It includes uh, Line Six's amp models. Um, I'm not a real big fan of of their amp models, um, and it all, but uh, it also includes. Um, Digital effects, uh, chorus, phaser, delay, reverb, um, etc. So you can put this in front of your amp and uh, and then actually use those sounds. Um, I've got uh, both of these plugged in through my effects loop on my Mustang Mustang Three, uh, so um, that uh, that works out well well for me. Um, um, uh, but if you were going to be using the amp models, you'd put them before. Okay, uh, that's uh, that's about all that uh, that I wanted to uh, to point out. Well, hang on, hang on. So uh, the pedals, um, the it's got a loop up, loop down here on the on the JM2. Uh, you can you can using this uh, last button here, I can change um, the. I can change the uh, function of the buttons to uh, to whatever I wanted to. So now um, the first two buttons are loop up, loop down, and then just by pressing it again, I'm back to rec record play. So to me, there really wasn't anything that the uh, that the uh, JM2 uh, by Digitech did that the JM4 by Line 6 doesn't, and the, and the Line 6 uh, uh, looper pedal does a whole lot more. So that's um, that's it in a nutshell. That's what I wanted to show you um, before you got into it. Um, uh, in terms of quality, uh, I w I think I think durability. I would say either of them are just as durable. Um, I I. I had the impression that the jam end would be more durable, but I, I don't think that it is. I mean, it's 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 die cast, and I, I like these stomp pedals, um, but the uh, the line six is just as you know, and it's got metal metal pedals as well, um, or switches. So, I uh, hope you get to try uh, both of these out and make your own decision. But uh, there were some things uh, that um, uh, that I wanted to review with you that uh, that were helpful to me.